Hello everyone, in this super quick video, I'm going to drop my laptop. Hello everyone, in this super quick quick blah, blah, blah. Hello everyone, in this super quick video, I'm going to show you how to put a texture background behind your head in Squarespace. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is move my logo and navigation up to the top header. So to do that, I'll go to Design, Style Editor, and then Header Layout. And I want to move Brand and Position and Primary Nav to the top. So, top center, and move the navigation to the top left. I'm also going to change the color of these because the background that I'm going to be uploading is quite dark. So if we click on that, just change the color. And then the same for the navigation too. Okay, so obviously if I'd uploaded my logo as a PNG, I'd need to upload that as the appropriate colour or invert the colour for a single page. So I've got a tutorial on that too. I'll leave a link to it in the top now. So yeah, if you just come across and it's save. And we're going to go back now to custom CSS. Going to go to manage custom files. And then I've got my texture background on my desktop that I'm just going to drag into there so if we just drag that in wait for that to upload and then the next thing i want to do is find out the id of our header to do that we right click anywhere on the header and i want to go to inspect and then i'm looking for the header id or the header class so it's going to be this second part that we need to take so this header hyphen hyphen top this will be different on non-brand family templates but it's just a case of trial and error to find the right id that we need so if i just double click I'm just going to copy all of that even though I only need the second part of it. Let's close developer tools down. I'm going to come across to our custom CSS again. I'll open in a new window actually so we've got a bit of space so we can see what we're doing. Right, so I want to put dot and then I'm going to paste in the ID that we've just copied and I'm going to remove that first part of it making sure there's no space between header top and the, the dot. I'm going to put squiggly brackets come down the line and then background hyphen image and then we want to put a colon URL and normal brackets make sure that there's no space after the URL otherwise this wouldn't work and then make sure we're still within the brackets we're going to put some quotation marks and make sure that this case is flashing away there in the middle of the quotation marks we're going to go to manage custom files and then click on the background texture that we've just uploaded. Hit save, close that down. And there we go, we've got our texture background in at the top there. Okay, so thank you so much for watching them. I hope you found this video useful and you get to use it in one of your projects. If you like the video, leave us a thumbs up below. If you'd like to see more videos like this, more tutorials, then please do consider subscribing and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. See ya.